Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video I want to show you how you can create your own custom defaults for objects, shaders, tags and many other things that you can create inside of Cinema 4D. So let's create a tube and let me rotate it a little bit and now let me adjust the parameters here so that we have a tube that is much thinner and has rounded edges. And now we want to make this the default tube. So there are two ways of doing that. The first one is via this drop down here. We can go save preset and in the save preset dialog, we will be allowed to set this new preset as the default, or we go to the edit menu instead. And here we also have save preset, but we have save as default preset as well. So let's use this. And now we can give it a name, so we call it tube thin and rounded and I want to save it to the preferences database usually I would recommend to create your own database and if you want to learn how you can do that you can find a link to a video where I recorded the whole workflow in the video description below but for now I go with the preferences database make sure as default is ticked and then we hit ok and now this is already our new default tube so if we delete this one and just create a new one, like so, you can see that we have exactly this tube again. Now, if you want to go back to the system default, you can simply use the drop down again and choose default. You can also use the drop down to go back to the preset that we just created. And if you don't want these settings to be the defaults anymore, you can also click this part of the button and then click the crown icon so that it's not active anymore. And now if we delete this tube and create a new one, you can see that we are back at the system defaults again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.